What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to build a ramp that actually goes from one level to another inside of SketchUp. Stick around to the end because I'm also gonna teach you how to create the sidewalls that are taller than the ramp itself. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I've got a model here from the 3D Warehouse, and um, it's from Taz 1985. I've actually used it in a video before, but this is the office building, and I wanted to show you an example of how to create a ramp that um, smoothly moves from this point to this point. This is something I'm going to be getting into more in depth in my upcoming landscaping grading module in the SketchUp Essentials course. Still working on that right now, but if you want to jump in early, you can check that out at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash course. But what we're going to do is we're going to start and we're just going to use native tools in order to rough out where we want our ramp to go. So I'm just going to draw a little bit of a curving path and you can kind of make the cat path curve however you want. That portion is not really that big of a deal. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a curve like this to give me my full path like this. And so I've got these three edges and I'll turn on my uh, cursor highlighter for you, but I've got these three curves and what I want to do is I want to offset them. So I'm going to tap the F key in order to offset this out by whatever the thickness of this is going to be. We'll say eight feet. We'll make it a little bit wide. Now, the problem with this right now is you need this to run all the way to the sidewalk over here and all the way to the ramp over here. Now this one actually looks like it's okay. Um, we want to make sure that it got split off on this end right here because what will happen sometimes is you'll have this little extra piece in here that you don't want. So you can just draw an edge off of that to split it and then delete this out like this. But on the other end, you're going to have this gap. And so we're just going to extend this out so that it hits the end point right here. And so what we've done is we've created two curves in here. Now what we need to do is we need to make this a curving path. Now I've seen tutorials where people draw the curves kind of up a little bit um, using the arc tool and have it kind of like move through a central point. You can definitely do that. There's a tool that I like to use though called Curvashear and it's in the Fredo tools extension that you can get through Sketchication. So um, if you don't have the Sketchication plugin store, you really should. Um, but basically it's contained inside of the Fredo tools extension right here. So download Fredo tools. And so what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to take a curve and it's going to allow us to um, shear it up. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to activate Fredo tools right here. And so notice when I run this, so if I run this right now, what it's going to do is it's going to shear a curve up. But if I select these three curves right here and I try to run it, so I'm just going to run curve shear real quick like this. Notice how I'm going to get a bunch of like really weird results. The reason for that is because you need to take these three curves, right? You want to select them like this, right click on them, and you want to weld the edges into a singular curve. Now, for this one, we want to do the same thing. But there's a little bit of a trick here. You need to make sure that you pick up this little edge that we drew on the end. We're going to right click and we're going to weld those edges as well. So what Curvature is going to do now is it's going to allow us to select a series of curves. So we can select both of these. We want to run Curvature and we want to set it up where it's going to shear us up to whatever the height is um, where our ramp needs to go. So in this case, it's 14 foot four inches from a height of zero um, and reverse curve orientation is just an option you can select in order to set which direction the shear is going to go. So in this case, it's going to be yes. Um, if you run it and this is sheared in the wrong direction, just undo it and then pick the other option. But I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. What that's going to do is that's going to take this curve and it's going to shear it up just like this. All right, so now we've got a ramp roughed out. There's a couple different ways that we can go about um, creating the rest of this. So um, the first thing you could do is you could come in here and you could select these two curves like this, and you could use either um, from contours right here. So if you use from contours, it's going to create a surface and you can kind of see the hidden geometry by going to view hidden geometry. And then you could erase out this extra geometry that it creates. Um, like I said in a recent video, it'd be nice to see sandbox tools updated with a tool that can actually do like the lofting in here instead. Um, I don't use 
sandbox tools for this. I use either Curveloft or Soap Skin and Bubble. So Curveloft is a paid extension from Fredo 6. It's not super expensive and it can actually generate faces in here that are much cleaner, right? And you can come in here and you can kind of click and drag in order to set the way that these edges line up, the vertices that it lines up to. So notice how I can kind of click and drag this over. You have to be a little bit careful with the way that you do this, but that's gonna generate a pretty good face right here. Then you could double click in here and you could reverse these faces. Now, what you need to do next is you need to decide what you wanna do with the walls, right? So if you just want this to be kind of a solid wall here, or if you wanna give it a little bit of thickness. I'm gonna show you how to do this with some thickness. And so the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna take this base piece and we're going to offset it out by whatever the thickness of our wall is. So in this case, just like visually, we're going to say this is going to be about 12 inches right here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to offset this out and I want to make sure that I come in here and extend this line to this edge right here. I want to make sure that I cut this line off at this edge right here. And so when we do that, we can erase out this little bit of extra that's in here, but then I'm just gonna use Curvashear again, but we're gonna use another function of Curvashear. So we're gonna go into Fredo Tools, we're gonna activate Curvashear, and in this case, I'm gonna set my top height to be like, we'll call it one foot higher up here. And we're gonna set our base height to be one foot over here. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna raise this up before it shears it upward. And we're just gonna click on okay. And so when we do that, Notice what that does is that actually comes in here and that lifts this and then shears it like this, making it very effective for creating walls. And then again, you could come in here and you could use from contour if you wanted to. So just select this entire closed curve and use from contour. Um, and actually, no, it doesn't like that because that's vertical. So you are gonna need some kind of an extension here. You might try Soap Skin and Bubble, or I use Curveloft again for something like this. So when I use Curveloft, I can use this in order to generate a skin on this wall. And then on the top, I'm gonna generate a surface. On the back side, I'm just gonna pick up these border edges again, like this. Sometimes it's easier just to kind of move a copy of this off to the side and take a look at the geometry and make sure that there's no missing edges or anything like that. And if you just cannot get this to fill in using the skin function for whatever reason, you could just erase the ends and then just use the skinning function right here as well, or use the uh, the loft by spline function. Then I'm gonna reverse these faces. We'll just move this wall back. And then we'll just repeat the whole process of skinning the backside. Um, so starting by using Curvashear in order to make the walls and then um, creating the skins using our various tools. I'm not gonna make you, uh, I'm not gonna walk you through this whole thing step by step. You're just following the same process. And then just to give you an idea of the final result, um, I still need to add some benches and some things, but um, I came in and I used Profile Builder in order to generate rails along this path right here. So the rails actually look really good. That's a super powerful tool for this, um, but should give you an idea of how you can create um, kind of a sloping, gently sloping ramp with walls in SketchUp. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. Like I said, I'm working on a module for my course where I'm gonna talk more about the grading um, and landscaping pieces of this, but this is how you can create this ramp. So if you are interested in jumping in and uh, starting to work on your SketchUp skills before I get that complete, you can definitely check it out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course but let me know if you have any questions as always thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and i'll catch you in the next video thanks guys